Hey, what's up, guys? All you twihards out there and all you haters. Now, this could be clickbait, and we will get back to that at the end of the video here, but, I mean, have you heard the excitement? Did you see it? Did you even know about it? I mean, check it out. I'm on Stephanie Meyer's website. No matter what page I go to, so if I pick anything, you know, like, oh, this resolution music video, no matter what you go to, it forces you onto this page. Four days, 11 hours, 47 minutes. So I was trying to do some math in my head real quick before I made this video. That looks like it'll be Monday at like 5.30 in the morning, at least Pacific time. So then what does that mean? I mean, it looks like it's nighttime. And then if I watch it long enough, what is that? The sun coming up, the moon coming out. I mean, is this teasing to midnight sun coming out? If you don't know what midnight sun is, it's remember where Stephanie Meyer rewrote Twilight. But from Edward's point of view, so is that what it is? I mean, that would be super exciting. We've been waiting for it for years. I mean, I don't know. But I mean, all this excitement just came there. Or I know the rest of you guys, all this hatred, this visceral hatred came here. But I'm saying latch on to that. Because, I mean, my mind just started going wild already. Like, do the numbers mean anything? And I turned into some numerological freak going on like do i have to add up these numbers wait it's may the 4th wait that star wars day i see stars is something related and hey doesn't that happen in your classroom like don't you go crazy like that with kids and you're trying to make connections with them with everything so maybe you don't care about fortnite but you know a new skin came out so you talk about it and then the same thing happens in your class all the kids who love fortnite they're so excited they're hyped and the other kids are like oh i hate it and then they're letting out all that hatred but it's bringing engagement it's bringing excitement are you doing the same thing on or in your virtual classrooms because you're an amazing teacher you know what you're doing you know how to connect to all your students so are you doing the same thing so again i know i'm probably going to get a lot of hate for loving twilight i don't care that's who i am yeah i admit it i like it whatever but it's the same thing you like what you like you don't need to be copying other people you're not trying to impress anyone just like in your regular classroom so do what you do you know how to do it best and just keep bringing that excitement and everything to the classroom. So again, this was not clickbait, but it's the same thing you're doing in your classroom, right? Where you're bringing up a topic and bring up that topic digitally. I mean, Google Classroom, you have questions, you have whatever else responses that they can have. You could bring that up, bring that excitement back in, have that engagement. And hey, I mean, back to it. Monday, Let's see what happens. We could all cross our fingers, hope for the best. Come on, Midnight Sun. All right, see you guys later. Have a good night.